Hi, Afayula. You've heard about the zone of danger in law school, but have you ever uh, considered the learning zone or the performance zone? Let me back up. So when you got into law school, you knew you were signing up for perhaps one of the most challenging uh, endeavors of your life. So challenging, in fact, that when you tell people you're a law student, they still look at you awestruck. Wow, you know? And because you are well aware that law school is difficult on an intellectual level, you know this, you also know you have a lot to learn. So then why in the world do you beat yourself up when you don't know the answer to something or when you make a mistake? Think about it, is your default setting one of perfection? Do you tend to judge yourself for any mistakes you make in law school or for getting grades that don't place you in the top 10% of the class? You're smart enough to know that percentages are just mathematical calculations based on a few months of being in law school and being tested in a particular way. You're smart enough to know that one semester of grades does not reflect your potential as a lawyer. So why not consider a new way to approach law school? You can free yourself up to make mistakes, and you should, why? because mistakes are part of the learning process. Mistakes are part of the learning process. Ideally, throughout our lives, we should alternate working in the learning zone where mistakes are welcome and in the performance zone where we're trying to maximize immediate performance. In the learning zone, we expect mistakes. Mistakes are normal. We examine why we made them. We welcome feedback from others with interest, even with curiosity. Over time, we adjust, refine, revise, reflect, repeat, and then grow. We keep growing. With this process-oriented approach to learning, we get better at one skill, and then we take on another one. In the performance zone, we maximize immediate performance and try to avoid mistakes. Don't put yourself in the performing zone when you don't have to. If you dwell in the performance zone 100% of your time in law school, What's going to happen? You'll probably be reluctant to try new skills. You'll probably reject your mistakes and maybe even live in fear of the possibility of making them. And you'll be less willing and less likely then to learn from them. And you'll probably end up being less creative, a less creative lawyer. And you'll miss repeated opportunities to learn and grow. For more on making the most of learning and performance zones, Check out the talk in the links by Eduardo Briseño, a top consultant on mindset and learning. It's one of my favorites. You've got this.